What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the export queue inside of Cubase Pro. Let's get right to it. All right, so in this project, I use a hypothetical situation where I have a guitar main left and right, and then I have a series of drums that I want to go ahead and export this all at the same time without having to bounce this one by one. So I want to create a stereo mix. I want to export a guitar stem. I want to export a drum stem. And then for some reason, I just want to export the bass drum on its own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to file and I'm gonna to go to export, audio mix down, and then you're gonna get your export window pop up like this. So this is a feature I believe that's only on Cubase Pro. I don't think any of the other versions have this, so you might want to check that out on the website to see which one has this function, but I believe Cubase Pro is the only one that has the Q function and as well as the multiple stem function up here. So what we're gonna do is I want to create an export queue. So instead of having to open up this window, let's say I want to bounce my stereo out, I'm going to name it, I want to get the right format, and then I want to hit export. So instead of doing that, I'm actually going to open up this here that says export queue. Now here I can create a series of exports that will be put on queue. When I press start queue export, it's going to export all of this at the same time. So let's check this out. So I want to create a stereo out. So I'm going to put add to queue. It's going to come out with the file name, the path, which is the project mix down folder, which is right here, you can set your path. It's a wave at 48 kilohertz and 24 bit. So now I'm gonna create another cue, but this time I only want the drum channel, so the drum stem. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the cue. Now again, it says untitled one because that's what it's named up here. But if you actually press this little arrow here, it says update the job. So watch what happens when I click this arrow look at how this check mark will jump up to stereo out because it saved the previous setting that I had before. So even though it's named the same because I haven't changed the name, I can obviously go in and let's say I want to redo the drum channel, the drum stem. I can go into drums and then call this drum stem. And then when I put add to cue, look what happens. It's going to say drum stem now. And I can continue doing this with, let's say, the guitar. So I put guitar stem. And then I'm going to put add to cue. And then here I'm going to put, let's say I just want a bass drum because I want to create or use a drum trigger. I could just put here bass drum stem and then add to cue. And notice how here you have your bass drum stem, your guitar stem, drum stem. And if I click the update job arrow, you're gonna see that it moves according to what I had set it to. So let's say you wanna update something and say, well, maybe in my drum stem I want to, or my bass drum stem rather, I want to put the snare as well, so on and so forth. So when I hit the export or start queue export, what it's gonna do is gonna grab all of these and put this inside of my project mix down folder. And then here I can also put to create a new project with these tracks, create an audio track or insert to pool. So what the pool is in Cubase is like what clips are in Pro Tools, if you're familiar with Pro Tools. It'll just put it in a section or a folder inside of Cubase called audio, where you can pretty much drag it out and put it into your project anytime. So if you create a new project, it's going to open a separate Cubase window. And if you create an audio track, then it's going to actually export and then import it right back into the project. So since that's the case, we're going to go ahead and do create audio track. And you're going to see that it's going to create four stems, a stereo out. Let me actually rename this one, do this one again. Let's call this um, stereo out. And then I'm going to hit add to cue and there I have my stereo out. Now of course there's not going to be any sound in this. This is just an example, but so you could see that it's going to deliver me four stems exactly how I named them and I'm going to have it insert it right back into Cubase. Now we need to select our export range. So let's just say it's from here to measure 1 start queue 
and then it's going to load up as it starts rendering each of these stems. As soon as it finishes, it's going to prompt me with this import option. I'm just going to hit OK. It's going to do everything it needs to do. And now I have my four stems based on the export preference that I chose. It's just as simple as that. And as you can see, you can bounce multiple things at the same time. So let's say you have a ton of group tracks with vocals, guitar, bass, drums, anything, horns, orchestral instruments, anything you want. You can export it all at once without having to do it one by one. If you have any questions throughout the video, just go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. There's a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go ahead and check it out. And as always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.